Morning, y'all. It's Kate from Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles. And I am just sitting outside on this Sunday morning, the 20th. We've got a little decorated for Halloween there. Uh, I know there hasn't been really any videos this week of me or me talking, and I'm sorry. It's been a very stressful week. Um, but some good news. I'm going to share the news. Um, I'm sorry. And some of my feelings. I'm home alone now, so I can kind of feel like I'm free to express myself. Um, well, last week was not a great weekend. Um, this week I've been hot on the job hunting and I have an interview tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not going to say where or what yet. Um, it's for a big convenience store chain here. Um, I'm more than qualified to do the job. Um, I'm I'm debating whether if they offer it to me, if I'm just going to say, yeah, I'll take it, or, you know, if I need to keep looking. But it's an opportunity to make good money uh, at a full-time position where I will be very mobile. I mean, I'll be on my feet all day, but I'll be moving around and doing stuff. I won't be just standing in one position or sitting in one position, which is my old body just doesn't like that anymore. Oh, my God. Yeah. I did a mask last night, so my face is all fresh and clean and pink and... So, um, uh, just wish me luck. Um, I have kind of gotten to a, a routine now. The first couple of weeks were t hard because everything was so foreign. Every aspect of my life, even to when I showered and brushed my teeth or everything had changed and I had to suit to fit my life into someone else's and and have my life kind of work around them, but not really engulf them. I don't know. But today I was, I've been, some things I put out, some decorative things, and then as I looked, I'm like, you know, I got everything out of the boxes and everything out, and so I've repacked some things that they don't need to be out here. They're more personal things that I'd rather just wait until I have my own home. But um, we're doing well. Um, it's just a, stroll, a weird transition time. Today I was, I have started my morning. I mean, I get up pretty early, have my Red Bull first thing I do in the morning. And then I, I clean the cat boxes and I sweep and vacuum and do up any dishes. Uh, I've been, uh, uh, yesterday was, I scrubbed the bathroom and vacuumed the house. Friday I vacuumed them up, you know. I'm trying to do all the housekeeping just so I don't know, just to take the pressure off my sister and, and to feel and seem less like a, a moot or, I don't know, look at my hair, it's just, psh, look at all that gray coming in. Yeah, some of it's natural, I think some of it's been put in there by the last six months, but anyway, sorry, my ponytail was pinching my head. Um, so, I mean, it's, the job interview tomorrow, if this is a big chain, the side of the Mississippi, and it's a big in Oklahoma. So pretty much every town has one. Um, it's for the 7-Eleven company. And uh, so if it's something that I like and enjoy when I do find property somewhere or when I find a place I want to move to, there's a good chance I'll be able to transfer because there are so many stores. And if not, then I will hopefully, um, I'll just get something else. But the only thing that makes me nervous about this job is that I have a feeling it's going to be more work and harder work than I really want. Um, but since I'm no longer doing yard work or taking care of chickens and all that other stuff I did. Oh my God, look at this bug. I don't know what it is, but I'll have to show it to you. What is that? I don't think I ever saw one in Delaware. I feel like I've seen it before. It's only got six legs. It's some sort of something. Very interesting. So anyway, enough of the bug. Here, I left my hairband sitting in the middle of the sidewalk. So, yeah, it's just been a, it's weird. So I think my plan for now is within a year, hopefully in less than a year, I can be out on my own somewhere. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and I am going to, at least for this next year, work 
just work and put money away. I get a vehicle, work, put money away so that if I have to alter work or switch jobs or figure something out else once I move to my own place, I can. But so I'm going to try not to let it affect my health, my blood pressure or the way my my blood disorder reacts to me overworking and overstressing my body and my mind. I'm just going to persevere. I'm going to push through it. I am going to try to make as much money and stockpile as much money this next year as I can. So, I mean, that's easier said than done because when you're single, you still have all your bills. There's no one to help you. So to try to put money aside to get your own place and stuff is really hard. But first thing I'm going to do is try to find a piece of land I can lease. And if I don't initially start on tribal lands, then I might just try to find some place, you know, rent to small. But I'm at the age now, I don't want to move a bunch. I want to find a place and not have to leave or move again, ever. Which, you know, those are few and far between, but I might get lucky. Um, I could probably find something just here outside the city, out in the country, where I could commute into work and have a little small piece of property outside of town. But the closer you are to the big cities and here in central Oklahoma, um, the more expensive it is because of, you know, you get all the stuff around to go see. And so I would still ideally like to be in southeastern Oklahoma and we'll see. Even if I don't go all the way to the southeast corner, if I stay around the northern part of my tribal lands, which are around Lake Eufaula, and I can, that will keep me within an hour and a half of family. You know, if I need somebody or need help or something, but we'll, we'll see. No matter where I go, I'll probably be within a couple hours of family, no matter what. But um, the cats are doing well. Uh, Romeo, as far as I know, still has not come out of hiding. My cousin had a fish fry yesterday, which I was not able to attend. Um, but and I'd hoped if I had been able to attend, I might have been able to coax them out. Because once they can get their hands on him, if they hold him and love on him, he will calm right down. He's not going to fight them. But, uh, whew. yeah, look at his hair. Oh, wow. So, anyway, um, I'm very self-conscious on film. I'm sorry. But, uh, so, that's the new news. And I'm sorry there hasn't been more. But some days I feel like my world with my chickens. And it feels like it was almost like a lifetime ago. You know, I, I was looking at my little crochet chickens Vicky made me today. And I was just like, damn. Life has changed so much. And I miss that. I don't miss the stress and the headaches and the worry and the constant fear of Delaware and just dealing with, with Paul's stuff and everything is going to be end up falling around around us. Ugh, scar. Boy, that mask really did clear up my face, didn't it? Well, it just cleared my skin. You can see all my freckles and my scars and that's for my glasses. But anyway, it's not a scar, but uh, so that's kind of what's up, and I'm just uh, kind of rolling with the punches, so to speak. That's all I can do, and uh, I don't know. My nephew has set my sister off today. I don't know about what, but it's usually the days when he really sets her off. Ooh, my eyes look really green today. That you just, I just want to shrink in the shadows because that's when she can explode about things that really may not have anything to do with me or directly involve me but you know he knows how to push your buttons they are uh they are very close but they are very much different but then th i see in certain ways they are very much alike so anyway i'm not going to get into that because that's their personal business and family business and not that you haven't really watched my videos that much but you know anyhow um so i'm going for a job interview tomorrow I kind of wish they offer it to me just because I don't want to keep looking. That's just, to me, that's stressful and tedious, um, especially in a big city where you're driving around town everywhere and you're, you know, it, job interviews aren't the same as when I used to interview. You know, I haven't been out of that for a long time. We're, you know, the last 12 years I've been in pharmacy and, you know, so much has changed even in the last 12 years. You know, used to go pick up an application, walk into someplace, apply. Now everything is online and you have to go through all these portals and it's a pain in the butt. But 
Here I'm 10 minutes of just rambling. And you guys are used to me rambling. You just haven't heard me for a while. So anyway, I'm sitting out in the front steps. So there's a different backdrop other than the windows or my feet. <laughs> so yeah, this is Kate just still. I've been here three full weeks now. Let's see. I got here on the 24th. Yeah, like on the 24th, so, um, not been quite a month, but it has been quite a disturbance in my, my energy field and my aura, so to speak, if you kind of think on those lines, but, uh, um, without having so much to do, it gives me a lot of time to think and reflect on things, and it gives me a lot of time to, uh, beat myself up mentally because instead of keeping my mind busy of doing things I need to, you know, I'm filling my mind with what it should could is. And there's no way to live in the past. I can't change anything that's happened. Um, Paul's still hanging in there. He's still taking care of the animals. Though I had to pull a favor to get some food, cat food taken to him today because he blew his money and ran out of cat food yesterday and had no money to buy cat food. I told myself, I can't keep doing this, you know, um, I'm broke. I'm pulling a favor to feed the cats that you should be responsible for. You know, he still continues to talk about grant money that he can't touch yet, and cars that he's going to be sent, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know what's real, what's not. Um, I asked him this week, I said, hey, could you send me a few bucks? Because baby kitty has stopped eating the dry. He's getting really skinny. Part of it, I think, is tra travel and stress. I think part of it is just the season's changing because he's eating. I catch him with his little, fill his little Buddha belly sometimes. Feel that he's got a little frog belly on his little skin frame, but he's old. And I think he's just slowing down. And, and now without so much, without all the cats and chickens occupying me and dealing with Paul, I'm able to really focus on him. And I don't know, this concrete's hurting my booty. Yep, it's still warm enough here. It's the end of October that I'm out here barefoot. We had some cold nights last week um, that got down like into the 30s. We brought those two wandering dew plants in, but once it got back up above 45 in the 50s, we brought them back out. And we're supposed to have some 80s and stuff like that this week, so. Um, I just wanted to update you guys and apologize for not making more videos. And um, I'm kind of isolated here almost like I was before because I don't have a way to get out. You know, I can use my sister's car up whenever I want, but I can't, I don't want to use up her gas. I don't want to use up, you know, I don't want to be out if I don't have to be, you know what I mean? I don't want to be out using up gas and I don't know. I just, you know, unless I need to go somewhere. So I probably could have walked down to the little park, but I'm not going to do it this morning. She's left and I don't want to, you know, I think she's got the house. I have, don't have my own house key yet. So if I leave and she's not here, I have, you know, I have to be able to lock the house up. This is not, this is not Milton, Delaware. It's a city and there's crime. I don't think there's like crime like right around here, but you know, it's a city, it's apartments. It's, you can't trust people because people in general suck. But anyhow, that's the news. Um, I'm hopefully things change. I don't, I would love, you know, if I happen to get a hold of some money before I get a job, I will, um, I don't know. I need to go to the lake. I need to spend some time outdoors, and I'll take you guys with me. But right now, I'm just, this week has been stressful. Um, uh, and I'm just, again, I live a life where I'm walking on eggshells all the time, and I don't like that. And it makes me very uncomfortable, very unhappy. There's one of my flags I brought, but, uh. I will continue to tiptoe on the eggshell, walk on eggshells if I have to. And right now my goal is to not piss anybody off, uh, not wear out my welcome, and to get employed and make as much money as I can, at least in this first year. I'm gonna try to focus on just money making. I mean, I still wanna plan on, you know, starting, finding a piece of property. Um, and even if I have to lease a piece of land, and, you know, as long as the rent's not expensive, I'll lease the land and pay on it or, you know, buy, you know, whatever until I can find something to purchase or until I've been working long enough that I need a loan to purchase. But I think I could probably find a piece of property somewhere where someone wants to lease 
and then I can just slowly start making it what I want it to be. You know, one thing about leasing land is anything I build or anything permanent, you know, but there's a lot of uh, shed to cabin um, builders here and quite reasonable and I can probably get one maybe pay 500 bucks a month for it and have it paid off in less than two years and then slowly refurbish it and make it a home but we'll see those are still just dreams down the pipe so right now let's just hope I get that job and I can start stockpiling money I love you guys and I miss you guys and I miss what we had before and I miss my my, my garden and I miss my chickens and I miss a lot of the cats but we're going to persevere and we're going to push on. And before you know it, we're going to have more uh, garden videos and chicken videos. And Kate with a big smile. Yeah, that's weird, huh? I love you guys. Take care. You have a great weekend. Bye.